Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. We've been kind of behind on the whole Scientology uh, Danny Masterson trial. Obviously we did a stream with Les last week on over on her channel and I've caught up up to date with what's going on. Again, I am able to do it because there's just been so much information coming out and Again, for the last week or so, I've been really busy, and I had no internet as well over the weekend, which put a bit of a uh, threw a wrench into the mix. But today, we're going to read an article from Variety, and this was actually done yesterday, and it's a very interesting story because a lot of this stuff is what I've been receiving from Tony Ortega via an email, which he gives out, and it seems to be like Tony Ortega seems to be a bit of the old uh, boo hoo. People are copying my work and all this kind of stuff. So, you know what? We may just not even use them anymore. Because when you act like a baby, when you're a grown man, it doesn't look too good. But as you can see with Variety here now. So, Danny Masterson to face a fourth accuser in setback for defense. Let's go back. There we go. So, in the setback for Danny Masterson's defense team... A judge ruled <clears throat> Monday that prosecutors may call a fourth woman to testify that the actor did this. Judge Charlene Almeida had previously excluded the woman's testimony from the trial, but said Monday that defense's arguments had caused her to change her ruling. Masterson is charged with forcibly doing this to three women from 2001 through 2003. The prosecution wants to call a fourth woman identified in court as Trisha V to show a pattern of alleged misconduct. According to prosecutor Reinhold Muller, Trisha V alleges that Masterson did this to her twice while she was passed out drunk in 1996, when Masterson was 20 years old. Masterson, his lawyer Philip Cohen, argued that allowing the testimony at a late stage of the trial violates Masterson's due process rights. I don't know what's changed since the court's pre-trial ruling, Cohen said. It's a big issue. Cohen asked for a mistrial, as he has done at several points in the trial. Olmedo denied the motion. Yeah, he's actually asked for um, a mistrial in the first week alone. I believe it was like eight times, which is absolutely mind-blowingly funny, crazy, and also, really, that's how you want to go with this situation. Because if you keep asking for mistrials, to me that shows you have nothing going forward. Cohen has argued a trial that the three accusers colluded with each other to come forward against Masterson. He has noted several times that they ignored detectives' admonition not to talk to each other, and has argued that as a result, their accounts have become cross-pollinated. Muller asked to call Trisha V to testify because she is not part of the trio of accusers, and has had only limited contact with one of the three. Muller argued that her account shares hallmarks of the main accused's allegations. I think the jury is entitled to hear from Trisha V, Muller said. To not let them know that person is out there, I think would be an injustice. Also, I want to just talk about the uh, part where, you know, um, like, oh, you know, Muller argued that her account uh, shares hallmarks of the main accused's allegations, which is true, you know? And when you got that there, when you got someone who, like what Masterson has been accused of, they always have a pattern. You know, it's not going to be different things. Look at Jeffrey Dahmer. You know, perfect example. And obviously with the TV series recently that's come out, it shows exactly what he did. John Wayne Gacy, Ted Bundy, all these people. There is a pattern to what they do. And when they go about, uh, you know, they will have hallmarks. They will share similar things. But when you get someone who's like, oh, they, you know, they've been talking this, that, and yeah, it's like, well, yeah, of course. They are going to have certain things. You got by here, like what Cohen is saying. You know, they ignore detectives. They argued as a result, their accounts have become similar. It's like, dude, of course they're going to become similar because that's what they do. So the other three victims... The other three women have already testified. Unlike the other three, Trisha V was never a member of the Church of Scientology, an issue that has loomed large in the case. In her pre-trial ruling excluding Trisha V from the case, Omedo held that the testimony would be unduly time-consuming. 
but she did say that prosecutors could bring up the issue later in the trial if they felt that the defense arguments had opened the door to the testimony. Muller argued that Cohen's questioning of the three women has advanced the theory that they shaped their testimony, perhaps in league with law enforcement, to overcome the statute of limitations. Olmedo held that Cohen's defense theories had differed from what she anticipated before the trial. She said she believed that the defense was arguing that the three women had consented to this with Masterson. But in at least one instance, Cohen has suggested that this did not take place, leaving the judge feeling caught off guard. She also noted that Cohen had argued that the women are seeking money from the Church of Scientology in the civil suit. Both of these two approaches have occurred since the trial began, and have changed the court's analysis, Olmedo said. The prosecution is expected to call a few more witnesses, including Lisa Marie Presley, a friend of one of the accusers, and she was also a friend of Danny Masson as they hung around in that specific group. Cohen has yet to announce whether Masterson will take the stand in his own defence. The defence has indicated it may call a toxology expert and that it may recall Jane Doe 2 to the stand as well. So, a lot of stuff going on with this, a lot of stuff happening. And when you got someone, you know, the defence team now, that they're going back and forth and they're saying, oh, well, these people, of course, they've been speaking with each other. All their stories seem to match. Well, when you have someone, like I said, who has been accused of what Masterson has done and other things, there is always a pattern to what they do, no matter what. They always do the same thing. You know, each person, maybe different person or whatever, or maybe little differences, but the majority of them, which again, with these three people, they said that they were, uh, you know, that their drinks were spiked and, you know, so forth. And it went from there. Again, with Masterson, that's what he's been accused of. And when you look at other cases where people have been found guilty and they've actually admitted to being guilty of doing such a crime or whatever, they say, yeah, it was all the same. Each girl or each person had this, this, this. With Danny Masterson, what he's been accused of, it is a pattern. Spiking a drink and then going doing that horrible stuff. That's what he's been accused of. And to be honest with you, at this moment in time, just by reading the transcripts and everything else and seeing what's been going on, it's at this moment in time, I'm just like, you know what? Yeah, he does seem to be guilty. But again, no, we've still got a couple of weeks to go. We got to hear some other people, you know, some other witnesses and people who are going to be on his side. And seeing that as well, what uh, they say there as well, um, they have yet to announce whether he will take the stand in his own defense. I think he has to, really. You know, if he wants to get people to be speaking more and being more involved and being his telling his side of the story. Because remember, there's always two sides to a story. Remember that. And if he doesn't go up, to me, that's that's just like, oh, I'm not going to go up, I'm not speaking. No. To me, it's like, well, what are you hiding? Go up there. Tell your side the story. Tell people, you know, what's happened or what you thought happened or whatever. You never know. That may just sway people in your favor. You never know. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we got for this at the moment in time. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see each and every one of you in the next video.